I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ.com and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. The question I always ask is, how long does it take to hear back from your recruiter after an on-site interview? Now, there are two points I want to answer here. The first one is the overall question. How long does it take to hear back? And my assumption is this is being asked uh, about a third-party recruiter, a contingency, inter, um, contingency recruiter, not the corporate recruiter. Now, it takes as long as it takes for them to get feedback from their client. And it takes as long as the client takes to communicate the, to them. Because remember, just follow the food chain here. Agency recruiter, generally corporate recruiter, Let's take that person out of the equation. Hiring manager, subordinates to the hiring manager who may have been involved with the interviewer, interviewer, uh, with the interview, I should say, uh, during this process. And the three of them have to do up a quick report, meeting certain criteria, communicate with their boss, who then has to communicate with your recruiter. Sounds easy, except the staff of the hiring manager isn't only doing recruiting. Like, there's a guy that I coach who's trying to hire a bunch of people uh, for, for his group, and he still has his job of managing his sales team while he's trying to hire a half a dozen people. And he's booked on interviews. He has work to do with regard to sales team and, and helping them close deals and supporting them in their work. He's not exactly sitting down and doing his write-up for HR. So it takes time to hear back, and there's no uh, rule, there's no guideline other than as long as it takes. So if no one's writing it up, trust me, they're not exactly rushing out to hire you. Now, here's the other part that was a more subtle thing uh, that I want to address. That is the theme of the question, but it's embedded in the question, and it's the phrase, your recruiter. They are not your recruiter. By definition, a recruiter is someone who goes out to find people for a job. They are trying to hire individuals for a client organization. And what they're trying to do is identify people who fit a client requirement, refer them to that client, and then the person is hired, works there for a period of time, and they are paid. Who is paying them? Is it you, which would make them your recruiter, or the corporation who is hiring them and paying them? Answer, the corporation. They are not your recruiter. You do not own them. They do not report to you. You are paying them nothing. Yes, you have the right to say no to anything that they tell you. Of course you do. But that doesn't make them yours. They work for corporations, and the process of recruiting is to recruit individuals to refer to the person who ultimately pays them. So drop this language of your recruiter. It misleads you and deceives you and can give you heartache later on. Hope you found this helpful. If you're interested in connecting with me on LinkedIn, send a connection request to me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash Big Game Hunter. And if you're interested in my coaching in one of many different forms, visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us. Look for the relevant tab on the top or just visit my blog. There's a lot of great information there. Hope you have a great day. Take care.